Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sherpa. Hi, Mohit. Thank you for joining. Hi, Adam. Hey, Lolita. Good hey. Morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Uh, we were just uh, in another meeting, <laughs> Matt and I. So we were, we are having our observability <laughs> of work cut out, but we have some interesting topics today. I think, uh, Shilpa, your team is going to present next uh, next iteration of the tag meeting. So yes. we are definitely looking forward to that. Sure. Um, but um, with that said, uh, again, I think we had a couple of topics Matt and I discussed, uh, and this is, again, in the larger context of some of the requests that the uh, CNCF TOC has made of the tag. Uh, and this is, again, part of the standard, you know, processes that are getting improved uh, from uh, from the TOC for the tags to participate, you know, more closely, uh, as well as kind of, you know, have a back and forth uh, on some of the um, papers. So with that said, uh, Matt, I think I can share the uh, Oh, we should open the uh, meeting. We always have to do that. Um, did you did you want me to share the doc or um, uh, how do you yeah, want to start? So I, yeah, I was just gonna say we have to read the. the yes, yes. Yes. Do so, I can share the doc when you run through it? Okay, sure. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, today is October first. Uh, it's our first tag meeting of the month, uh, first and third Tuesdays at noon Eastern. Uh, this is a CNCF sponsored event. Anything that you do or say in the video or chat uh, is subject to the CNCF's uh, 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 policies and code of conduct. Please don't do anything that would be in violation of that code. Uh, and with that, hello. Um, yeah, I put the links in the doc if anyone's <laughs> good, curious. Good. Um, I'll go back on mute. I'll, yeah. Welcome everyone. No, no worries, no worries. Please, please uh, go ahead. I'm just trying to find my links and uh, share. So, all good. I'm just trying to make sure that I have the talk up, and then we can. Uh, I can at least share, and then we can talk through it. Do we have a vol? Is there any volunteers for a note taker? Again, uh, folks, this is an open doc, so you know you can always take notes. Uh, there is, uh, as we discuss stuff, and uh, typically, again, the guidelines are as some of you are, you know, just um, are new or joining in. Um, we typically will add our names to the tag meeting, um, and, and uh, feel free to add your names. This is an open doc. Um, Shilpa, I'm just going to add yours. Um, Mohit. Yeah, I think I'll start Adam. carrying a personal device so that I can access this because from my work laptop, I can't. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, if you can, yeah, usually that's much easier. Yes. Um, so um, we can start with um, uh, Matt. Do you want to kind of quickly run through the TOC update that we did this morning uh, for sure. the tags um, activities? Yeah. Do you want to click on the little doc link on the first bullet sure, there? Sure, sure. Yeah, uh, let me click on it. Okay, yes. Yeah, so um, it used to be once upon a time last year uh, that every single TLC meeting, every two weeks, every single tag, no, once a month, every single tag would run through like one slide. Right? If you look for our notes from last year, you'll see those singular slides. And it got to be a bit of a, you know, um, monot I don't want to say monotonous. I, I liked the format. Uh, but uh, at last year's KubeCon, there, there's always an offsite, or there lately has been an offsite between the TOC and tag leads, and it was decided that a more conversational format uh, made sense. So uh, what you're looking at is page one of a two pager uh, that every quarter, I believe, is the goal. Um, tags report to the TOC uh, two per hour. Uh, so today was tag observability and tag runtime, and so this is what we talked through with the TOC. Um, we talked about the health of um, we talked about the health of the tag, you know, in terms of, you know, do, are we resourced? Do we need, you know, what, what are the things we need? Um, we talked a little bit about the contributor activity, um, and most of the time was spent on the requests um, that uh, we've asked the TOC to help with. Uh, and and briefly, they are, uh, there's a whole bunch of new uh, automation and tools that can help tags uh, with sort of the administrivia, if you will. So we we kind of asked them to come uh, and and give us an update on that uh, and offered to record it and help with post-production to make them reusable for other tags. 
Uh, we talked about an idea that we've had a longstanding idea where projects could self-declare uh, to what to what degree and how they are observable. So, for example, badges or something like that. Do they have logs? Do they have metrics? Are they using open telemetry, et cetera? As the needs of the community, we we suggest have moved away from you know what's observability and how do I do it uh, to more what have I done and what help do I need as a project. I think so, I think Matt to this uh, this call out again. I think we should create a formal issue on our uh, tag. Uh, to define, you know, to start the activity of defining what our observability rubric would look like. And again, we can definitely link some of the, you know, um, um, templates that the tag security has done, uh, which could be leveraged. But the larger context of this request really is for end users, you know, as end users uh, often are looking for what is the state of observability support in a particular you know, framework or a project that is being used in their production systems, right? And is it observable? You know, is it uh, is a component, um, uh, uh, is it emitting metrics? Is it, you know, can you collect traces of that uh, component to be able to track performance? Again, you know, how observable is a component? So. Production readiness is typically very tied to, you know, the ability of a component to be observable. And to that point, again, the discussion, you know, this is a larger discussion that has been ongoing for a while. So we kind of wanted to formalize, you know, a uh, set of requirements, if you will, that would be good to um, include in a larger, you know, production readiness uh, checklist that projects can actually complete and share and update on a regular basis. Yep, and um, I, I think we we and the TOC um, and, and the ca casual observers would, 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 if they looked at the last four, four and a half years of, of tag observability or how long, however long it's been, we've kind of like become instead, initially observability wasn't really defined, right? Open telemetry hadn't joined. We still had sort of a big patchwork. Uh, and now that things have matured, we have standards that are in place, and there's been, you know, some agreement, if you will, within at least the CNCF on on how does one do logs and traces and things. Um, the conversation has shifted away from, you, you know, um, uh, at least in this tag, like new core observability projects. I mean, there still are those, uh, but um, uh, if you look at how many project reviews are done by tags. You know, the vast majority of project reviews are happening in other tags and observability like security has become more of a cross cutting concern across domains. It's still obviously a domain itself, but most of the activity that's needed by the community and the open source mm -hmm. projects are more in that latter stage. So I view this as sort of like a success, um, or at least I see it that way that, you know, now we're a cross cutting concern. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a good problem to have, but now we need a scalable way. It doesn't involve us evaluating all projects, but gives projects guidance on how to self-assess, and then we're bringing work that into the workflow that uh, projects use when they create their proposals to move to incubation uh, or, or to graduation. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. That was the second point. We spent a bit of time there, uh, and then um, the, a lot of the rest of the meeting was sort of administrative. Uh, I, I, administrative, you know, um, you know what what specific issues are there. And there are two that I put uh, to talk about. Uh, one is the state of the ecosystem uh, and the other is a documentation update. So as the CNCF now has more PMs and staff, um, uh, they've made a couple ass of all tags. Yeah, I can I can dive into this, the state yeah. of the ecosystem because we I think- We also bragged about our talks. We'll say that and then go back. And <laughs> so we actually did do a preview of, uh, you know, Shapa, your team's uh, talk next week. Uh, next time uh, on October 18th. So again, <laughs> looking forward to it. Um, uh, so that said, again, let's kind of dive into this issue, which is, you know, a request for the state of the ecosystem. And uh, this is kind of one of the topics that we wanted to chat about today. Um, because, uh, you know, one of the things that the TOC has been doing overall is asking the different uh, tags which specialize on you know specific areas in the um, CNCF um, landscape, if you will, 
Um, so as observability, again, you know, they have asked us uh, to to um, draft and and compose a report on the current state of the observability ecosystem because we work very closely with all the projects within the CNCF, you know, uh, observability landscape. Um, and uh, as you may know, and I updated our, um, you know, repo, tag repo pages uh, yesterday, uh, is that there are about 25 projects in our landscape uh, within the CNCF um, uh, purview. And uh, fundamentally, you know, it's again, looking at what are some of the areas that we could include in this report and provide an update. And and again, this will be an open process. So, you know, I really invite uh, any of you who are interested in contributing to this project. Again, obviously we will, uh, you know, call out and uh, and th thank everyone who contributes to this project publicly, both at the, at KubeCon as well as, you know, in the tag uh, and back to the, uh, in the written document that is submitted to the, to the TOC, but this is a public document and again, great way to actually contribute uh, to this um, to this report. So uh, we wanted to kind of assess and see if this is, you know, this is kind of what the guidelines are from the TOC and what we can adapt um, for the report. So the information obviously is prepare a one page document, that's not too bad, which addresses the prompt questions below. Engage your work groups. We have uh, two active work groups, as you know, uh, to provide no more than three to five sentences on the questions below. And then the work group responses can be in addition to the one page document covering the breadth of the tag. Uh, please provide this information by no later than November 1st. That's pretty doable. Uh, again, the TOC will review these reports uh, at uh, prior to KubeCon America, uh, North America, which is um, November 12th through 16th, and plan a course of action for public review before the end of the calendar year. So this is the TOC's request. Uh, and why are they asking for this is that the resulting state of the ecosystem will become a public report to the community and will serve as a guide uh, to guide the TOC in structuring our advisory groups, which is the tags themselves, and their working groups to address the problems that uh, of today and tomorrow against the realities of current contributions and participation in our groups and projects. So again, this is really a new process, you know, to start um, keeping a closer um, heartbeat, if you will, on the state of the evolution of observability projects, right? And and um, this is, you know, again, a guidance to all the tags. It's not only tag observability. So the good news here is it's a win for the end user community because it is often that, you know, the end user community is actually looking for what is the state on every project and, uh, you know, what is the status of completion? What is the status of support? Um, and so hopefully this will be a kickoff into, you know, kind of having the tags also, which oversee all these projects in different domains. Uh, being able to provide subject matter expertise back to the TOC. Okay, so some of the prompt questions here, let's kind of go through them. And again, I welcome any of you who are interested, you know, to uh, just let, let me know if you're interested and we, the doc, doc will be, it'll be a Google Doc, so we'll work through it uh, together. How do you see the completeness of the ecosystem in your specific domain? Are there specific areas that are not covered in the projects of our ecosystem? So again, I'd request all of you to think about some of these areas, you know, and if there are questions missing, uh, again, please keep that in mind, you know, please feel free to highlight and call that out because we can always add that to the report, right? This is just a guidance. It doesn't mean that we have to only stick to these questions. How do you see the alignment between different projects in the specific domain of your tag. 
Uh, and do you see close alignments with projects in other domains, right? Because again, this is cross-functional as well as depth within the tag itself, uh, tag domain itself. Are there particular challenges in the tags areas, both current and foreseen in the upcoming years? Um, do you see areas of overlap with other tags and individual work groups? If so, which ones? Um, how do you see the overall status of project health? And this is again, project health specific to the projects within say the observability tags purview. Um, how do you see the overall trend of innovation and new projects and capabilities in your domain? Um, for each work group in your tag, has their initial purpose been completed? Are the work group artifacts and deliverables a service provided to the projects or to the TOC? Security reviews, governance reviews, etc. cetera. Um, has the work group assessed, reassessed its progress towards initial goals? Is there an updated timeline for the work group to accomplish its goals? Does the work group feel additional effort and focus needs to be conducted for the closing the gaps in their subdomain within the ecosystem? So, you know, as you know, the work groups in our area especially have been uh, the QLS work group, which is the query language specification. And again, there's a lot of good work that the uh, team has done uh, where, you know, we have actually painstakingly interviewed different um, vendors as well as implementation implementers of different query languages that exist for observability and been able to, you know, kind of make good progress towards making a recommendation for, you know, what would a common query language look like, right? So these areas are, you know, just suggested questions uh, and areas of, you know, that the TOC has kind of uh, suggested, but we can always come back and add more to this. So to this, I think, Matt, what we should do is, um, I think we can probably do a little bit more than a page, you know, maybe add appendices and uh, add the additional, you know, content there, but let's uh, formalize this and kick this off as a project for the next month, given that today is October 1st and we are, we are going to have to submit this by November 1st. Um, so we have exactly a month to kind of work through this. So it should be totally doable. And it's a fun project, you know, in terms of uh, kind of everyone here participating and anybody else, you know, that you'd like to get involved in here. Uh, yeah. We'll start a formal issue, Matt. Um, yeah, yeah and then... I'm capturing a to-do in the doc now to make an issue. Um, okay, awesome. I awesome. think as we talked about, it's probably going to require like a weekly meeting for anyone yeah. who's interested or yes. watching the recording, reach out on Slack, and we can report back in two weeks at the next TAG meeting. Uh, we should have a rough draft by then, or at least have it framed out. Um, if you're interested, please reach out. Uh, you could also signal your interest on the TAG issue. Um, yeah, and, and also and needless to say, uh, Shapa and others, it's a great way to get involved. Uh, it's an opportunity to, you know, kind of contribute uh, to the project. And, you know, again, you guys have a lot of um, practical expertise on, you know, having leveraged many of the components uh, and projects uh, within CNCF observability, especially. So I think it's a, a great opportunity to actually get get um, you know provide feedback as well as uh, uh, you know any questions that you may see are not covered here. We can definitely address those too. Okay, so I think I think going back, uh, Matt, was there another area that we wanted to kind of talk about? I think there was the documentation yes, part. Yes, there was. A, I put a link. Um, I mentioned it last week actually, but I, now we have. Okay, we can maybe out. we can go in um, there. It's um, it's linked up up up. If you go back up, should I scroll back up? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's that one right there. Tag documentation update. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm let me formatting let me... in real time. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'm just bringing it up. So, okay. So this was the second uh, area that we kind of wanted to take a look at today and uh, discuss as a team. Uh, and this was again, um, that there is a request uh, coming in from 
the overall uh, TOC uh, tracking issue 1366, um, where the TOC has requested that all the tags kind of standardize, you know, the documentation that is available on the tag repos, because people usually, you know, who are getting involved in the tags are interested that, hey, you know, what does this tag do? You know, what are the um, uh, areas of work and kind of standardize at least the information that's available. Uh, so this is another area that we do want to kind of work through uh, in the in this coming month. Uh, Matt, do you want to kind of step through this, or do you want yeah, me? To... Mo most of this is going to be pretty simple. If I, I, I had planned on on doing this uh, this week sometime, it, it's it's really a lot of just updating where documents live and things. Yeah, if one yeah. Is interested and wants to shadow. With we can the, look at the template and see um, what they're asking for. Fundamentally, they're asking for introduction, project list. We have a project list. I did update that even last yep. night. We have governance and leadership, uh, tag structures, again, working groups and initiatives. I think I added some information, but perhaps you know, adding a bit more detail would be useful. We have pretty much all of these. I think the roadmap yep. is probably something we need to work through uh, and build out as a Kanban board and then perhaps link from here. Uh, and the charter, which is, you know, again, linked so that we have most of this information. It's just organizing it mm -hmm. in what they are expecting. Yeah, it's not going to be, uh, it, again, it, it's mostly, um, mostly stuff we've already done. It, they're just yeah. holding into the common framework. I mean, I've gone through the, um, you know, readme that we have already on the uh, tag repo. And it should be pretty, pretty standard uh, and, and pretty updated. I mean, I have uh, updated it in the last few months, so last quarter. So yeah, that should be, great. we can just make sure that it's something that we have all the info for. Uh, removing tag repo charter and updating tag repo charter in the yeah. TOC repo. Okay. So they uh, originally all the tags had the charters in their own repo yeah. and now they're consolidated. I will take this opportunity to put a link into the doc. Yeah. We have an issue that it's over three years old. That is low hanging fruit for anyone who is more visual <laughs> than yes. me uh, to make a GitHub pages site <laughs> for the tag. Um, I think, I think uh, we did that with the observe KTS uh, Matt, yeah. the uh, setup. And oh, I it's think... not hard to do technically. I just mean like, and make it look cool. <laughs> um, it look cool okay you know like visually like i get github pages is um you know it's just a static site so we can we can do whatever we want but uh it's uh it, it's so old it's issue 39 back in 2021 and it's a help wanted issue which is um we haven't jumped on it we're, we're gonna have to as a result <laughs> of this i think um but if anyone wants to to or if you uh, have other engineers yeah, so who skills, you could uh, request you know, to come skills. and contribute that would be awesome I'll also go and put a call out to see if somebody is uh, interested in kind of working on that. It's a great way to kind of get involved and get started and, you know, uh, again, gain gain uh, a, a public, you know, contributor presence as well as uh, be known for contributing in the observability space. So, um, Uh, yeah, yes. this is this is a good good um, uh, good area of work. Lastly, this one's uh, I believe if we're going to get it in uh, by the ten eight meeting, I don't know that we if we will or not. But uh, ten ten eighteen. I think it's some 18. of the stuff that we do. Um, I mean, I mean, yeah, uh, we need to do a review of a new sandbox uh, application for the substation project. So yeah. I put it more to show uh, if you want to be. Uh, more involved in the tag. These are the kinds of things that we're asked to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so uh, the CNCF regularly, quarterly, I believe, uh, reviews applications to join the CNCF into the CNCF sandbox. And in this case, there's a project called Substation that is in the observability space, having to do with the routing of logs and and other things. So there's a there's a review process that we kind of look into it and ask a bunch of standard questions. Um, 
Yeah, typically, again, you know, the we do reviews uh, for the TOC all the time. Uh, and again, this is uh, specific to looking at observability support, you know, in, in, in a particular project or an observability, new observability project itself. Uh, and it really gives you an opportunity to actually understand some of the new technologies that are coming in uh into the observability space you know and landing into the sandbox for the cncf which means it's a new project with some new technology and features that you know will kind of land and go through the um through the uh you know process of going to incubation and then graduation uh as and as a, as you can see typically only you know when it's in the purview of the observability projects, for example, then the tag will get involved, right? So each tag just get, gets involved on reviews when they, it's a specific project in their space. So as you can see, this is a uh, new new project landing in. It's a toolkit for routing and enriching, you know, security event logs and audit logs. So again, security observability is a very important part of observability. Uh, and uh, typically security workflows also use the same frameworks that, you know, uh, normal telemetry data is also used for. Um, they can have different channels, you know, obviously that depends on the architectures that you have in your um, production environments, but um, these this component is obviously coming in. It's an event logging uh, project. So what we would do from um, the tag would be to actually review the code, the review, you know, the documentation of the project, and there are several criteria. And we do this, you know, analysis for uh, various projects um, on a regular basis for the TOC. And then we recommend, you know, make recommendations from the tag on, um, you know, any concerns as well as call outs that we have for the project itself and any questions. Uh, typically, we also ask the projects to come and present to the tag uh, to share you know, where the maintainers are in their journey of what they see this project to become uh, and you know, where, where it will go, right? Because often there'll be many projects that will come in and it's like, hey, you know, we've got this cool idea, we'll be in the CNCF uh, sandbox and you know, this is what we would like to build. But it also happens that sometimes, you know, once they are admitted that they may not make as much progress as they would like to see, or they don't have enough of a community as they would like to, you know, build, or that they really become very, very popular and, and skyrocket to be very successful. <laughs> so it goes both ways. But yeah. uh, again, the tag works very closely with the TOC to support that. Yeah, and as, as an example, for anyone curious, I put a link in the chat to one that was from earlier in the year, where we had a project that had come present to us, and you know they, uh, you know they they applied to to join, uh, and part of the application to join the CNCF is some rationale around you know why why do this like if you, if you scroll down a little bit um, uh, uh, on this page. Uh... Yeah, so there's like the, the project itself will fill out like why why would we join the CNCF instead of some other foundation? Mm -hmm. How would the inclusion of this project benefit the landscape? And obviously, these come from the perspective of the project that wants to join the, the sandbox. So some of the role of technical leadership within technical advisory groups like this one is to kind of read through this and rationalize it and provide feedback that's aimed at helping the project, you know, um, move forward. Uh, so it's, if you will, it's sort of the, the tags provide this function of a, of a, of a first line of review. Um, mm -hmm. uh, oh, we have a question in the chat I just saw. Uh, okay, I'll respond in chat. We, we can take that after. Um, uh, how, how Anything else you wanted to call out here, Matt? Uh, no, I mean, I'm still doing my initial read through. Of okay, all of this. okay, um, cool, cool. I just wanted to kind of cool. highlight it as an example totally. of things that... Yeah, I think I think that was the two things we just wanted to call out today because these are the two you know reports we'll be working on, uh, in the background as we have our tag work uh, ongoing this month, 
uh, and I think the third area again uh, would be to um, build out and get ready for KubeCon, which is in November next month. Um, yeah, so Ham, uh, I think I'm saying it right, Hamza, um, uh, had, had a question on, uh, he says, if I, I have a question, if you don't mind, I want to contribute and fix bugs on FluentD. I'm reading it because the chat's not always on the YouTube videos. Like, yes, I, um, I cannot fix, see fix it. Fix bugs on FluentD, but doesn't know how, if he can just pick a bug or feature in GitHub issues and resolve it, or if there are specialized things to do first for tag observability. Um, there's nothing that you need to do for us to go contribute to the FluentD or any other project. That said, uh, we do have a bunch of issues marked as help wanted. Uh, so if you were interested in contributing to some of the tag stuff, um, that would be a good, yeah. I think yeah. And I, also I, a good first issue tag. Um, yes, let me uh, bring it up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm linking both here. Um, yeah, we have help wanted. Have, yeah, we need to we need to retag because some of these have already been done. There's yeah. Only, um, a lot of the white paper stuff is from the white paper, but. Um, but yeah, so uh, but but to answer your question, uh, no, there's nothing that you need to do with us. You know, we're we're not gatekeepers to any of the projects. We're here to facilitate the community and help help the projects and help help match people up and do a bunch of other stuff that's defined in our our charter. Um, yeah, we. I mean, again, you can sort and see like we have this GitHub pages site that you know we would like to put together for tag. For our observability tag, so uh, this is a good first issue. And then maybe uh, this I, I put a link in chat, or you could just click on the help wanted. That that's probably um, uh, old. And then you got to do some of it is uh, yeah. open, yeah. Um, but we've got a lot of a lot of things that are sitting there as low hanging fruit, um, mm -hmm. specifically. So you know, to 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 provide people an easy end, if you will. Um, and again, feel free to add issues if you have, if there is a specific area that you you know think should be useful to add uh, or work on. Again, this is your forum to just you know add an issue, open up an issue, and then uh, we can discuss it in the tag meeting. Yeah, and and if you have an idea or something that you think would make sense to do or would help the community or the tag or the CNCF, that's consistent with our charter, and we have areas in our charter that are considered in scope and out of scope, and it's pretty broad on purpose. Um, yeah, make, make an issue and, and we can talk about it. And yeah, I mean, people have made like, you know, if you have ideas that, hey, you know, could we do something like this? Um, could we demonstrate correlations better, right? How do you do correlation across telemetry data? Or how do you do observability for edge clients? Again, these are issues that have been open, you know, a while back, but they're still very current. And uh, some work has been done around this on the projects themselves. You know, you can even link to all the work that has been done on the projects into a page here and just submit a PR. Again, this is very much an open uh, forum. Okay, I think uh, that's probably all the topics we had today. Um, is, is, was there anything else that you guys had, which are questions or comments? So, I have one question for the sandbox review. Uh, like, I think they already presented to the tag security last month and they already updated feedbacks based on that. So is there a plan that they will be presenting to tag observability also? Yes, yes. Yeah, Mohit. So and usually what, what, we we ask them to come and present to the observability tag too. And what's the formal review process? Is it once they present, then only we will review it? Yeah, that that's correct. Uh, once the, they come and present, then we we also do take a look at all their you know um, code as well as documentation as they have submitted currently. Um, and uh, the TOC comments so far, uh, but then we also do an independent review once they have presented. Yeah. And where do we provide that feedback? Uh, I remember we, I was part of the process review uh, where we have uh, for the same sign. A, a Google Doc, yes. We, typically, yeah. we will have an open Google Doc where you can provide okay. feedback. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. and so the TOC is kind of who tags you know, uh, who, who who provides, you know, like the TOC is as tag security and tag observability 
tag is tag observability in this case to look at this project uh, in in years past and projects past um, the recordings that are made typically have a discussion after so if we have any outstanding questions we can work on them there and oftentimes the projects are moving fast particularly for sandbox applications so there might be a a, a number of things that have happened since they actually wrote the application to the TOC um, and we found that you know oftentimes you know, software foundations, open source groups are a little bit asynchronous, right? So it might be a couple months later, some some TLC discussion, you know, they have a question about an adjacent project and they want to know, you know, what happened in the sandbox review. And so it, we found it really helpful to have notes and YouTube videos that we can link to, to provide them and say, oh yes, they came and talked to the tag and we did talk about that. And here are some of that. And so by having it sort of in the public space, versus just some people do a review and there's a doc that exists. Um, but by having a presentation, we get to, you know, the, the project gets to, you know, get some, get something out there uh, to attract new contributors. And then we have something that we can refer to later uh, that, that, that also helps the project by maybe unsticking a conversation at the TOC or some other group. Uh, so, so Matt, this, sure. this review is requested by next week. So I think- I know, yeah, I put it uh, into- the, the here what we will do is uh and mohit well, this goes back to your well, good technically question. It's not requested by the eighth i just put in there that the next time the toc will look at sandbox applications including this one is on the eighth so if it's ready by the eighth they'll look at it by the eighth. yeah but what we should do it... is uh, at least start the process of having the google doc and evaluation started uh obviously it doesn't have to be completed by then but we should at least make sure that we have a doc started, right? So mm -hmm. uh, with with some of these areas um, of evaluation started. Yeah, and this has been an evolving process over the last year or so. You know, um, originally these were just a Google doc that every tag kind of did differently. Um, yeah. It's been some, some helpful guidance from the TLC that we'll be using as well. Yeah, and similarly for the uh, the state of the uh, doc, I have a couple of inputs for the working group oh, for the query language because I've been working with Krish over that. Yes, yes. And I recently yes. connected with one of our PhD researcher also who is working on a similar area. Good. I think he might be joining from the next Tuesday meeting. Okay. Uh, that the like multi-dimensional? He was, I, yeah, he actually pinged on our Slack group also. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I connected with him. He already shared his uh, research paper to me for review also. Is planning to publish to Sigmod and Sigmetrics. Uh, I think he published to WellDB, but it didn't got accepted. But his entire research is about this: is like how to define a query language, which is more of a just a natural language for more more towards the log, not for all the pillars of telemetry, but very much aligned with what this working group is being trying to do. So. I, I think he's very interested to join this group also, hopefully. Yeah, next Mohit, Tuesday, why don't you there. invite him to come in? Uh, I already invited. Know. I think he missed today. I'm going to check with him. But okay, yeah, okay, okay. He's, no he's very interested uh, sure, to sure. start awesome. part of this because his entire research in this area. Sure, sure, sure. Makes sense, makes sense. So again, you know, please... Um, uh, you know, please uh, let just let me know or, my, my yeah, I think, or you know... Yeah, you he help. also started... Yeah, he also started talking to different vendors and companies and developers to understand the uh, entire area around query layer. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, once we start the doc, I will let him know also so that he can contribute all his inputs where he is with his research. Awesome. Awesome. No, no, that's really uh, cool. Thank you for doing that. And thank you for joining in. It's really nice to see you here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, le I mean, let's again work together on this doc. Uh, we'll just start this off and then share it. Keep a, you know, watch the um, the tag repo. Uh, and I will ping it on the uh, Slack channels too. Sure. All right. I think, I think that's all we had today. Did you have any questions about KubeCon or anything else that we can help with? Um, uh, yeah, in to add something. Of... Um, <clears throat> yeah, sure. Lita, with regards to the state of the ecosystem, like um, we're actually diving deep into our strategy, like long term, yes. like five to ten years down the line. Where do you want mm -hmm. to be, especially like hotel strategy and yes. how it fits into the broader observability? Mm -hmm. That is what I'm um, spending more time on. And also, I'm looking at hotel roadmap and comparing with what <clears throat> our roadmap is going to look like. 
And I yes. think uh, there is a huge opportunity that like um, <clears throat> we'll be contributing big time in the hotel um, cool. open Very project. Cool. Huge presence, like even looking for like um, dedicated engineers, um, <clears throat> a large set of engineers. Exciting. So, yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, yeah, and and again, Shapa, let's work together because uh, I I totally agree that you know this is uh, an area where there is a lot of you know great work happening, uh, especially in the end user you know uh, community because all of us are kind of you know involved in running very uh, highly skilled you know in uh, environments for observability and uh, and and again the scenarios and use cases even using the components you know from the cncf projects are components right so it's like uh, that that experience does need to connect and is super valuable for the projects Absolutely. So uh, really excited that, you know, you're, you're, um, you've joined in and, and let's, uh, let's definitely work together and leverage. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and also did like um, comprehensive testing on the hotel Lambda layers, especially using the decoupled oh, cool. processor. Oh, cool. Very cool. Very cool. Great results. I can't yeah. wait to hear that talk, by the way. That's yes. Yeah, cool. that will be exciting. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that's I, that's I, awesome. I, I, I got bit by the downside of that, like what can go wrong uh, in in a previous life. So, uh, <laughs> what can go uh, wrong? Many things good. Four years ago, but um, yeah. It, also, the state of the ecosystem report is sort of a new thing. Um, it's the first time through, so there are not really examples. Elliot had asked that question, so we have a lot of artistic license. Um, yes, and um, what what were you saying? Sorry. <laughs> I, I was asking with Shilpa, like, what's the date for that presentation? For the that's the next tag is. meeting, which next will one? be okay. two Tuesdays from now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because even at Netflix, we have been thinking of uh, like having hotel sort of thing for our Lambda functions. So yes, awesome. definitely. Yeah, to yeah. To I mean, topic. again, I think Cap One has done some really excellent work in this space, and uh, you know, Lambda technologies are constantly changing, as you know, you know, where there are new features coming in mm -hmm. or there's an, and, you know, performance considerations have been pretty much consistent in the Lambda world, uh, from an observability standpoint, you know, since day one, um, there have been a lot of optimizations in the observability components that have been done, you know, both from configurations as well as footprint of what you're deploying, et cetera. Mohit, I'm sure you're also pretty familiar with it. So uh, yeah. again, you know, kind of sharing our experiences there is actually very helpful. Definitely. Sure. Awesome. So I think I think we're at time. Uh, so unless uh, Matt, did you have anything else to wrap up, and then we can probably close the meeting today. Um, just uh, nothing formal. Just thanks for showing up. Bring your friends. Totally. Um, so in the lead up to KubeCon, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of visibility. I think. Um, yes. Into this whole domain, right now that we're. Um, you know, the world kind of comes together in November. It seems like in the cloud native universe. So. Um, no, I think it comes together twice a year at least, you know, because remember the March, uh, yeah, March pretty... KubeCon in London will also have a lot of lot oh, of right. folks participating. Yeah. Uh, so again, you know, it's kind of uh, at least at least those are two big events that help you know us at least as a community stay uh, aligned and work together on on short term and long term goals. <laughs> but thank you everyone. And Shopa, again, if you uh I think you already shared a abstract for the talk on you know coming up in two weeks. So we will definitely share that uh far and wide and um did we get a speaker profile? I'll check with you on Slack. Definitely um, Marita. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Sounds, yeah I don't think I've provided full profile. Like would love to know what level of information helpful there. okay we'll chat on slack for okay. sure yeah and, and actually very soon we're going to be copying tag securities templates for uh when we ask for a talk so some of those questions uh we'll we'll make sure make it into the template yes <laughs> all right thanks everyone and uh you know where to find us we'll uh chat more <laughs> thanks have a great day take Yo. care bye, bye thank you bye, -bye.